Henry's derailed disaster. One evening at Titmus says the engines were resting. I had to take the flying cable tonight, called Henry. It's not over that mountain track, said, Hen said Edward. It is, why? <sighs> Be careful, said Edward. That track is really icy. For my heard it is, said Thomas. <laughs> Don't slip, fall, and crash, laughed Gordon. I just dealt with the flying cable the first two times. I didn't mean to crash it. It was just wintry that time, as it is now, said Gordon. Yeah, said Henry. So whatever happens, be careful on the track and stay safe, said Emily. I will, said Henry. Now try not to crash this time. Oh, Henry, said Emily. I have a way of going with the flying kipper. It's dangerous. Be careful. On the icy mountain tracks? Yes, I will, said Henry. Hmm. I just hope nothing goes wrong. I don't want to crash it again. Again? Yeah, the time before I had my shape changed. There was a goods train right there. And I went so fast, I collided with it. And came off the tracks. It was terrible. <laughs> well, I hope we don't crash this time, said Molly. I'll try not to. Those tracks are icy, said Henry. Then he popped away. He popped into the steamworks. He saw Samson there. Hello, Samson. Hello, Henry. Just getting a little fix up before I go back to the mainland. You're not putting the fire clip over that ice track, are you? Yes, I am. How'd you know that? Uh, some men just told me. Just be careful. Stay safe. Don't crash. Samson, and put the way. Okay, Sandry, I won't. Why does keep everyone? Why does everyone keep thinking I won't crash? I haven't crashed with the Kipper in years. Uh -huh. That night, Stephanie had finished shutting the flying Kipper for Henry. Be careful when you go off that icy track in the me. Not tease or anything, but just stay safe. Okay, Stephanie, I will. See you later. Good luck, said Stephanie. Henry was busy steaming through the night. He was having a wonderful time. I get that everyone wants me to stay safe, but why did I have to keep mentioning about the crash I had with the flying kipper? I mean, it's kind of upsetting, he said. He only said to himself. Then his driver spotted something. Henry, he said, snowy tracks. Oh no. Then he looked ahead. There was a pile of snow blocked on the line. Oh dear, said Henry. He, he tried to pull on his brakes, but the tracks were too icy. He slipped and skid. He flew off the tracks into the snow. Henry flew off the tracks. Henry crashed in the snow, jumped over a cliff, and landing on the other side. Oh. My tender is Henry. So now over the cliff, Henry was worried he might fall down. Okay, okay, okay. What to do? I'll try best I can to get my tender back on the edge. But Henry couldn't cut the ground; it was too icy, and he was on the rails. Come on, 
Then there was trouble. <coughs> well, at least my tinder's back on the edge now. Oh. What am I gonna do? I'm stuck here. And everyone's right. I was gonna crash, and I did. Oh. What could happen next? But then the coupling for the car snapped. Oh, the couplings for the cars. Lucky it's not me that's down there. So I'm stuck all the way over here. With no, with no one to help, Sir Henry. The next morning, so Tom had seen the Titman Shets in Winston. Henry is missing. Oh no, said the Indians. Uh, I need your help to find him. And he was last seen taking the mountain round with the flying keeper, sir, said the Percy. Yes, he was, said Thomas. He's probably derailed over that icy ledge. And it's probably tons of snow up there now, said James. Alright, Dustin, I will need your help to get over there. Sir, said Dustin. Dustin, to the rescue. He says to Thomas, can I come too? Of course. So Thomas pumped his business and followed them right behind. Thomas found the coach, two coaches, and and he went with Tom and Dustin in the search to to find Henry. Dustin plowed through the snow with his rotary blades. And at last, they found Henry, who was laying on the side of the tracks covered in snow. Hmm. Henry, said Thomas. Yeah, are you alright? Fine, he said. But I'll be much happy when I add the snow back and back on the rails. So, with a little bit of teamwork, Henry was heaved and hauled back on the rails. Thanks, everyone, for Henry. Oh, so hey, we need to bring the cars back. See when the cars are back in the tracks and Hank goes covered up to them. Hank okay, comes. Let's go home, he said. And so they did. Henry spent the next few days at the steel was getting repaired. Hmm. I found silly going off the rails like that, said Henry. Don't worry, Henry, said right there. It was an accident. There you know, accidents do happen, he said. Yeah, suppose it does. And when he came out to tip Machete's, he had really just felt sorry about his crash. Tell me that you had another crash. Uh, with a flying keeper, Henry. Yeah, I should have watched out more for those icy rails. Well, at least you're safe, said Edward. And it was just a crash after all. Right, said Henry. Just a crash. Nothing more. And everyone had to agree. <laughs>